Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right. I can't believe Yes. If we can raise the head, you can ask him. But I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. Maybe the last of us gone. I'd like to talk about my kind. I mean, your family. Before Mother and I, where you came. Now is not the time for that. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Another time then. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? back to the witch from here. That one, behind the big statue of Thor. How about one more story? One more. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay.
Also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? <laughs> Turn back, Aesir. Guess the gods are welcome here. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. What does it say? Yes, sir. Say their need things upon all who trespass. Father, she is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. 
Hey, Malik. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Atreus, to me. So, Mamir, 
Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. We're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Head, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Good. Now put my lips to the horn. had that statue made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Members me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunku. Ah, oh, eh. Echo no Tuno Puno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one on the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I even see new places to explore along the shore. 
Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly... He caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see.
four toads in. Oh no. You found the village? Aye. When Thamo fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Go! Yes, a very, very giant chisel. Oh, neat trick, lad. <laughs> Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Whoa! Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need.
was difficult. Read it. To Njord, we offer back the sea's bounty. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms, and your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <gasps> you let him touch this again. <clears throat> Come on, then. <clears throat> So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Can you guess it? 
Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around right here. Correct. But how do we move forward? <laughs> Right here! Yes. No. I'll keep thinking. Enemies ahead! on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. <laughs> Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice. So melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot. So that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh. I get it now. Good. Huh. 
How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Uh, the plan seems ill-advised. Quiet head. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Oh, I know that one! Winter! Uh... Quiet, Ed. Doesn't like music either. Got it! I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. Try that. House. Sumo. Bar. Vector. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thor. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thor. Thor. Ed, how is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the bull! <laughs>
back to writing before the floor collapses. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that, Head. 
never leaves my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. I guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Okay? They'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Ah, oh, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? Serves. The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
are strong. Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. My, would you focus on your damn? Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? No <laughs> 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 Us. What does Odin want? Come here, half -breed. You're done holding Daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Can't believe you've lasted this long. Skinny little arms can barely lift the ground. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. You 
Your face, so you look like her. Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him, lad! <laughs> trying to rile you up! Idiots! <laughs> the sons of Thor are welcome to try! Head! Sorry! Overstepped, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Is my favorite part of the boss house. Love it! Yeah! There's a little run for it! Stop it! Quiet! Stay focused. Blood. The boy's sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. 